It is the 67th anniversary of the Palestinian catastrophe, or as we call it, the Nakba. More than 700,000 Palestinian people were forced to evacuate and flee their hometowns, saving themselves from the Israeli-British air and land war on them. Back then, Palestinian people thought that they would soon be returning to their home. 67 years have passed and Israel still controls more than 85% of the Palestinian territory. Most of this land is currently being called the State of Israel. Hundreds of people marched in Gaza to mark the occasion. Several speeches were delivered by Islamic Jihad leaders. They stated that they only believe in armed resistance to free Palestine. We don't accept a Palestinian state based on the 1976 borders because Palestine was not occupied in 1967. The Palestinian territories were occupied in 1948. And we, the people of Palestine, have the full right to fight for our land and our rights. We in the Islamic Jihad believe that what was taken by force can only be retaken by force. In the West Bank, clashes erupted between Palestinian youth and Israel forces in the occupied city of Nablus. This after Israeli forces attacked a peaceful march that was organized to mark the catastrophe and to condemn the Israeli settlers' attack on Palestinian holy sites. Palestinian medical sources say that at least 21 Palestinian youth have been injured by Israeli tear gas bombs and rubber bullets. More clashes are likely to occur Friday and Saturday as Palestinians mark the 67th year of their historic catastrophe and Israeli forces are prepared to crack down on celebrations. Nuhar Razin, TV, Gaza.